Hey guys, Kev here. I got an unboxing to do for you. <laughs> this one comes by way of NAFS Co. out of Utah, baby. Ben Peterson, you guys all know and love. And uh, I actually just got back from Blade West and Ben was there with NAFS Co. I saw him a bunch of times. I just never got a chance to stop him. Uh, I was kind of running around myself and trying to man the table and talk to a bunch of people. It was mayhem. So um, hopefully I can uh, catch up with him at the next show if he's there. And, you know, it'd be cool to actually say what up. I got my uh, Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Slip and my traditional pocketknives.com Ohio River Jack and the Sheep's Foot. But, uh, yeah, when I placed this order, I put a little note in there just saying, like, hey, dude, uh, you know, thanks for the inspiration. Um, you know, he's one of the first people I watched on YouTube that were knife dudes. Um, you know, I came through the gun channels, found Such. Such let me to Nick Shabazz and Blade HQ and Slicey Dicey, essentially. And that's how I got deeper and deeper. And now, you know, I got a YouTube channel. I have a freaking knife company. Uh, pretty much balls deep in it at this point. Um, but a lot of that's um, thanks to Ben and uh, just being entertaining, you know. Um, kept my eyeballs on the screen instead of, you know, work <laughs> or doing whatever. You know how COVID was, man. Anyway, shout out to Ben. Let's check out the knife. I'll shut up. I got to go pick up my kids, so it uh, might be a short one. Looks like we got a little mouse pad in here. Oh. So I ordered the knife. And I think I did order the signature. Um, which was like 10 bucks extra. And he recently, like right after I did it, he posted and said they're not doing that anymore just because he doesn't have the time, which I totally understand. Uh, this is cool. It's a little uh, lander mouse pad or shop mat, whatever you want to call it got the specs and I love how they detail everything for you about your knife or your purchase or whatever it is you're buying from them it's always super detailed and like in layman's terms it's pretty cool so then we have the knife we also have a cool patch oh this is dope it's like a little uh spaceship landing get it lander landing and uh you get a cat with an astronaut outfit is that what it's called, an astronaut outfit, Kev? Yes, that is exactly what that is. An astronaut outfit. <laughs> Don't question me. So real quick, one thing I wanted to mention about this knife, uh, it does look like it was cut, who cut open my knife? It was them, because he had to sign it, remember? Um, one thing I want to mention is, I saw the HRC in uh, Everyday Carry... Is that her name? I think it is just Everyday Carrie. Um, and she had a video up about the lander and she put the specs up and it said D2, 57 to 59 HRC. And my eyeballs went, what? That seems really low, 57 to 59. I feel like my brain has been programmed by YouTube and Instagram and all these HRC nuts. And I'm not even, I don't care because like, I, I don't use my knives all that much, guys, if you don't know. Like, I cut shipping labels. I open packages. I'm not doing the type of use where you need massive edge retention and, like, I'm really in toughness. Like, I'm not going to really tell, if that makes sense. And uh, my brain was like, oh, my God, 57 to 59. That's outrageous. You know? And I think I'm in a group, and I was like, did you guys see this? HRC, like, is that cool? And I was just wondering, like, is that cool? Like, I don't actually know what's good for D2. So, like, I didn't want to be like, oh, my God, that sucks. Um, so, it turns out I asked Brian over at Transparent Knives. I would call him, like, a resident expert in the in the topic. And uh, he said 57 to 59 is basically, like, what you're going to get from Chinese OEMs. It's pretty much average. Um, he said, ideally, you would get 61, but... Um, it's not like out of the norm that it's 57, 59. So I think what happened here was NAFSCO is just being transparent, uh, which I really appreciate because I personally try to do the same thing. 
they're just being transparent and telling you what it is. So thank you for that. And uh, that's all I wanted to say about that. All right, so I got the blue one here. You get this card that gives you some info and such. I did clear out my pockets so I could carry this. Uh, so I was planning on doing that. Um, one thing, uh, I'm carrying two knives today. So I have the the uh, Ohio River Jack, and then I have my chickadee on me, which is awesome, by the way. I got that at Blade Show. And then I'll carry the lander in my back pocket. So check it out. Uh, to me, it's basically like a slimmed down, um, let's check this detent. It's like a slimmed down banter, in my opinion. Uh, I got the handle one at, at Blade. Ooh. Centered, fires. No play, no rock. Okay, okay. We had it there at first, huh? Oh, it's butter. It's butter. It, it tastes like butter. It's really good. I think it's a nice looking knife. Uh, I really like the lines. It's kind of got like um, dozier lines, but uh, I'm not a big dozier guy. So it looks good to me where the dozier doesn't. It's a little too straight. This has a little bit of curve to it. It's got a little bit of a nest muck to it. Like, like it's got a little bulbousness going on out here. I really like that look. Um, it's a smaller knife, 2.75 inch blade, I think they say. Yep, overall 6.4. That's all I need, guys. I mean, it fits my large glove size hand almost perfectly. You're right up to that cutting edge. I mean, shit. This is good. Uh, detent. Okay, let's talk about it. It pops. Yeah, it pops. Um, I wish it was a little stronger, but that's just because I like every detent to be stronger. Uh, mostly. But it's not like I'm going to sit here and fail it. Uh, the studs are in a good location. You can see they're almost flush with the frame right here. So that gives you a lot of vertical power. Even with a lighter detent, this thing would fly out. And that's how the banter was. It just has a good detent. And you can kind of just grab and flick with your thumb. I don't know. It's just a super comfortable feeling. And the banter was like that, too. It's unique. It really is. It's a unique thing to, well, Ben Peterson designs. Um, it's got a, They're very fun to flick. Uh, they almost feel assisted. Uh, it is an inset liner lock, which is cool. It's obviously steel. Uh, I do wish there was a little more access here for my thumb. Uh, it is enough, but I'm kind of using the corner of my nail. But it's, you know, it's plenty. Um, yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging it. Digging it a lot, actually. I'm surprised at how much I'm digging it. Should I keep saying I'm digging it? Um, you have the quick, uh, quick swap scales. So I do think you probably have to take the... Uh, the filler tab and everything out but you could take these two screws out in the filler tab and then the same thing on this side clip off two screws this whole thing comes off you don't even have to take the pivot out from what i understand um because that would defeat the purpose right i think that's why yep that's probably why this screw is so far up it's so close to the pivot because it's really holding the scale down up here um is my guess yeah so i can almost flex this a little bit because the screw holding it down is down here not right here if that makes sense this is just your pivot um i like this a lot i would love to see scales for this um you know who would you know who'd be good at scales for this carbidize on instagram he's doing stout scales for our knife uh, we did the first batch at Blade Show, 80s fat carbon, camo carbons. If he could do that with this, that'd be pretty sick, too. Um, now, you'd, you'd have a lot of money. You'd have more money into the scales than the knife, but, you know, uh, some people just like to pimp their shit like me. It is a flat grind. Uh, it feels pretty sharp. Oh, and I forgot. There is a signature on here. It just says Ben. I don't know if you can see that right there. It just says Ben. Shout out to Ben. Uh, I like that. It's just simple. It looks clean. It's not like, 
I don't know. It's not in the way at all. It just uh, looks good. Yeah, uh, my only issue so far is it feels like it's a little bit tough to get the lock bar all the way out of the way. Uh, there we go. I got it. Like it doesn't want to pass. And it could just be the pivot is uh, breaking in. We're breaking in a little bit here and then it'll start dropping. But you see how it kind of gets stuck there? I don't know if that's because it's not clearing. It might just be a matter of me getting used to the knife, but um, yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, my only other issue is it's D2 and I just didn't want a black blade. So I went with the stone wash and I'm hoping because it's stone wash, the D2 will not rust on me, but it's a big concern of mine on this one. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot. So there you go. That is the NAFS Lander. And I'll do a follow-up video probably on this. Do a full review or rapid review or something. But uh, cool knife. Definitely glad I got one in. Um, I think I like this one a little bit better than the uh, Banter. Just because it's a little bit slimmer. Uh, I just like the way that feels in my hand better. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the tall handled knives, if that makes sense. Uh, plus, as a lefty, this one uh, is a little bit better for me. So, shout out to Ben. Shout out to Nafsco. Go check them out. I think it's just nafsco.com. Could be nafs.co. It'll be in the description down there. Go check it out. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later. Maybe you can go land yourself one of these. <laughs>